Hi there, this is Danielle Tremblay of InsightWithAnimals.com, Animal Communicator, here accompanied today by Tyler. So if you're wanting to curb some of your dog's excess barking, especially when the dog is in the house, here's a few tips for you. One thing you want to do is make sure that you're real crystal clear with your dog by telling them out loud what you want them to bark at and what you don't want them to bark at. Otherwise, just left to their own devices, your pet may think that they need to bark at most, if not anything and everything <laughs> they see outside the glass windows. So um, with my dog, I'm very clear. You know, I say to him, I want you to bark a few alert barks when there's somebody at the door or if there's somebody on our front porch. Okay, I don't have a front yard because I'm in a second story condo. However, if you have a front yard, you might say, I want you to bark if there's somebody out in the front yard. And then you want to be clear on what you don't want them to bark to. Okay, so with my dog, I say to him, you know all those people we see walking outside of our building? I don't want you to bark at them because they're community. They're my friends. And we don't bark at friends because barking at friends is rude. What you might want to say if you live in a house and have a yard and a neighborhood is, I don't want you barking at people that are just walking across along the side of the road. That is not our property and they are allowed to walk there. I like to see my neighbors walk. It helps keep their bodies fit and in shape. You may wish to say, I don't want you barking at dogs that are being walked by our neighbors. I don't want you barking at bicyclers or people with strollers, or cars passing by, or whatever it is you're not looking to be alerted to in every moment. So just be real crystal clear on what you want and what you don't want so your dog knows. It's a lot easier for an animal to be successful in being a contribution to you when they know what it is you're seeking and what it is you're not. So the second thing is give them kind of some guidelines around how you want them to alert you. You know, with Tyler, actually, tell him, you know, um, bark a few times, you know, until I open the door, and then after that, please be kind, courteous, and a wonderful greeter to my guests, where your mouth is closed, you're not barking, you're not grumbling, and you're just, you know, totally pure joy. That's what I seek of you. And he does fulfill this. Um, you know, with your pets, though, you may wish to say, uh, I ask that you bark a few times. I will come to the window. I will take a look at what it is you're alerting me to. I will thank you. And then the sequence is over. You know, it's done. I appreciate your alertness, and we're done. It's important that animals, especially dogs, know that when the sequence is over, it really is over. And you don't expect them to just keep on carrying on their barking, you know, a minute after you've been alerted to that which they wanted to let you know about. So set guidelines. Tell them this out loud. You don't have to be an animal communicator to tell them this. Tell them how many barks you want. And then you look and it's done. Um, the third thing you want to do is, you know, perhaps use some helpful phrases such as, you know, those people out there walking those dogs, you know, their na my neighbor walking their dog, those are my friends. And we don't bark at friends because that is rude. Or you could say to your dog, you know, the children playing out in the yard, yeah, you know, I don't really know them very well, but you know what, I love watching children play. It really brings me joy. Okay. But letting your dog know that you're okay with a particular situation, that you have gratitude even for a particular situation for watching the children play. You know, um, can let your dog know that, wow, mom's okay with it, my person's okay with it, dad's okay with it, and now I can just kind of chill out because obviously everything's okay. Your dog will tend to bark at those things that it questions or is suspicious about whether it is, you know, okay or not to be near your home, near your territory, near your pet's territory. Um, a lot of times our animals are just, you know, doing the bark alert to keep us safe, and that's their point of view. So just be clear on what it is you're desiring here. Um, and the last thing is to have gratitude, you know, for your pet. Really thank them for alerting you, bringing to your attention that which they felt was important. By acknowledging them, say, okay, got it. I see what you're barking at. I hear what that sound is. I may not understand exactly what the source of that sound is, but you know what, I hear it and I'm all set. Or if in that moment you don't hear what they're barking at, you could say, hmm, I'm really trying to listen and I don't hear it, but you know what, all is well. I believe that all is well. I am safe, you're safe, the house is safe. Um, we're done barking, we're all set, and life can move on, end of sequence. Okay, it's basically helping your pet know that you have been alerted, you're paying attention to what's going on, and they can now step back, step back in their role, chill out, and relax. So there's just a few tips for you. I hope that helps. Wishing you the best. Take care.